Hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Last episode we went and did an annoying part of the game. I'm I'm not gonna lie. Um This episode we're going to go off and do a side quest. Or a couple side quests. I said that we were going to start the side quests off here, but I forgot where that quest actually starts, and we are actually heading up to the sky to start off today's episode. All of our side quests today start off in the sky. So first thing we are going to do up in the sky is head into the Night Academy. Because we never really checked back in with Alan after we figure out about Levius. So I mean, why not? I mean, he is our teacher. We, we do kind of have some obligation to be at least friendly to him. That, that sounded very rude. Honestly, if, if, if your teachers are cool, then they're cool. And... I get that some teachers are assholes. You don't have to go and deal with those people. Oh, Link, how did it go? Were you able to hear what Levius had to say? I see. I was right then. There is something special about you. I have a feeling that you and that vibrant loftwing of yours will be just fine. The road ahead of you certainly won't be a smooth one, but don't lose faith. <clears throat> By the way... Would you be willing to listen to a little request of mine as well? I'm... As I'm sure you're aware, I'm the eminent authority of all plant collecting on Skyloft, if I do say so myself. But you do... But you see, I have begun to fear that I've collected everything I can hope to collect. My plant collection now features every known species. I've started wondering if, in light of your travels, there isn't somewhere you might be able to discover something new for me. What do you think? Would you be willing to look for a new plant species for me? Perhaps something exotic? Um, the kind of thing that would turn a few heads? I mean, yeah, I've found a few plants. Ah, uh, I, I knew you'd be willing to help me out, Link. I'm truly sorry to trouble you, but... Please try to bring me something rare, something no one has ever seen before. Okay. Your dowsing ability can be calibrated to locate the plant that this person seeks. However, if you are searching for another object that someone has asked you to find, the target will be removed when you switch to this target. Do you wish to use this plant as your current dowsing target? Yes. Understood, Master. I will set the plant in question as your current dowsing target. Okay. Will do. Let's go and head off, V. And I don't know why I gave her the robot voice. Well, I don't know why I gave her Scrapper's voice specifically. I think that was Scrapper's voice, but my mic always does something weird with my voices. So you guys will see something better than I will. I won't be able to tell t until editing. Um, but yeah, let's go and see where the plants are going. I'm guessing, especially since I went and said last episode we were going to be in the Farron Woods. Yes, it is in the Farron Woods, so see you guys over there. Okay, heading down to the Great Tree. Because I just want to head down to the Great Tree. It's just like my favorite landing place. Um, let's see what we can find. Well... Off in that direction, that's pretty clear. Let's go and jump down, woo! Wait, did I land where the we got the box originally? The goddess cube box? That's, that's pretty funny, actually. I'm gonna go and head forward through here. Give me that heart. So I'll always take a heart. And I'll take that heart as well. Let me guess it's you. Yeah, I, I guess they're a plant. Oh, hello again, Queek. Um, I've been hiding out so long my shoulders are stiff. 
You have shoulders? How rude. I do have shoulders, Queek. They're just not very pronounced. All I was trying to say is that constantly hiding from danger is a stressful way to, to live, Kukweek. Um, everyone seems happy that peace has finally returned to the forest, but I don't believe in it for a second, Kukuku. N there's no way I'm gonna give up and come out of hiding. Not ever, Kukweek. But sometimes I wonder, keep it. Is there somewhere peaceful I can live without fear, without having to hide? Um, I can help with that. Oh, that's fantastic news, Kukuru. I want you to take me there as soon as po as soon as you possibly can. I can verify with only forty percent accuracy that this person is a plant. However. Alan's field of study includes calculating unidentified pet, um, plant species. Yeah, plant species. We can take this current creature to Skyloft using the robot. Would you like to call the robot? Sure. Yes, Master, I will signal for the robot with telepathic transmission. Mr. Sphi, I hope you weren't waiting too long. Bzzit. So, you want me to carry this? Bzzit. Move it, move it, Zert. You're forcing me to let, tell you this every time, and it reduces my overall efficiency, Bzzit. I'll be waiting for you up in the sky, so don't take too long, Bert. Okay. See that he's back to his old self. Yeah, that really makes me think that he did something in the Levius episode. Master, I suggest we also return to this guy and carry the Kikweed to his destination quickly. Okay. I mean, I don't see another. I don't see another reason to stay down here. So, so let's get this dude to his destination quickly. I don't. I don't think he realized what he signed up for. I don't want to be in a dangerous place anymore. I'll put my full trust in you, Link. Go and take me somewhere where I won't feel in danger. I feel bad for this Kiku so bad right now. Yes, I will torment myself by being a, um, subject of study. I, I do not like where this is going. Okay, time to open up the door. We're gonna have to go to Alan's room. Unless it takes us right there. No, I forgot about that fact. This quest, I remember, but I also don't remember, like, the little details in between. There we go. I've come bearing the unusual Kikwi. Zer oh. Ting, you... Should you have need of me again, just call. Zer This is unbelievable. You have found me an entirely new plant species. It's precisely what I wanted. Hmm. Fascinating. Should this actually be classified as flora or fauna? I mean, plant or animal. Hmm. You know, this may very well mark the discovery of a new type of species altogether. Oh, how incredible. The world is so full of new plants waiting to be discovered, isn't it? I can barely contain my excitement. Oh, Link, you have no idea how much this means to me. Thank you so much. I'll take great care of this plant, life form, whatever it is. If you should happen across any other interesting specimens, be sure to let me know. Yep, five gratitude crystals, I'll take it. 75. Okay, let's go and check the Kikwe. Hey, buddy. Keep leap, I'm not used to getting stared at like this. It's making me blush. Okay. 
Oh, Link, the world is burst, um, bursting with undiscovered species or surprises. Um, isn't it? I wonder how many unidentified plants are still out there. There are quite a bit that you don't know about. You know, the longer I spend with this plant, the more interested I become. Hey, calm down, buddy. Just how much of this thing is plant and how much of it is animal, do you suppose? Fascinating. Okay, I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. This is getting weird. Let's head to the next place that we need to go. So inside the Thunderhead is our next location. This technically... This technically opened up after Levius. Um... I don't know how to el else to explain it, but you'll you'll see what I mean. This this opened up to us after Levius, though, and I kind of want to go and do it. It's a new mini game type, so I mean, why not? We have rupees to burn. I'm just hoping it doesn't take so much of our rupees. But on this bug island over here, or on this island, kind of spoiled it there, whatever. But only people who know know. On this island over here, we have Stritch. Um, Link, I wasn't expecting to see you here. I flew into this thick fog and ended up on this island. But once I got here, I looked around and realized this is some kind of insect paradise. <laughs> so I decided to go after my dream and raise a bunch of bugs here. Now I can spend my days catching all the bugs I want. You wanna try catching some bugs? I'll release a few for you. So, why don't you give it a shot? I've come up with two levels for my bug catching competitions, an easy bug beginner level, and a bug wrangler level for real bug masters like me. Since you aren't a bug lover, I'll charge you 20 rupees for the bug beginner level, and 50 for the bug wrangler level. Do you want in on this? Bug wrangler, baby. I'm gonna be timing you while you're in the course, so have a decent time. If you have a decent time, you'll get a prize. In the bug wrangler course, you'll need to catch a total of ten bugs that spe that I specified from among eight different types. Got all that? Okay, get ready. Okay, we're on our bug catching adventure. Let's go and get out our net. Wasting time there, but you know what? Things are gonna be the way that they are. Okay, we have our first bug here. If it would come close, that is. I'm already doing horribly. Just remember that you can do this a lot faster than I am. Okay, no. Grasshopper, come on. Okay, I wanna keep going forward. We have our dung beetle right here. Got it? Heading down here, we got fireflies. That doesn't matter to us. Heading through into here, we have another dung beetle. Got it. Oh. Let me get out of there. I want to get over here now. And down. There should be a dragonfly. Got it. Honestly, not doing so bad. I thought I'd be doing a lot worse than this. You want to be careful. Because it's the bug that I have trouble with. It's the sand cicada. Got it. Honestly, biggest biggest problem that I would have had. I need to get back up. Is my problem. That I'm running into here. And I might have an issue doing that. Um, We need another grasshopper. So we might as well grab this one while we're here. It just... It, it doesn't really save us time, but it's on our way. Got that one. And we head up. Let's go and go over this way. We don't need to push that down just yet. Because we really don't have a reason to. Okay. Do this. Get our stamina back. It's another sand cicada. I'm gonna head over here though. And an ant. 
And then we have one last bug, which I think is the Mantis. Don't really remember where the Mantis is. But it's right there. Yes. Actually did it pretty good. Okay, time. Hey, this is incredible. I think you might be in the running for second place as the best bug catcher after me. You should aim for under two minutes. What? What? Do that and a prize of a prize package of five fabulous bugs is yours to take home. Oh! It's just because I did it so good. Okay, I I thought for a second they changed how the rewards work. Okay. So you you get bugs. That that is literally your reward for doing this side quest. Or this minigame. And we get a new location on the map. Bug Rock. It's just what it's called. Next, we have a person to check in on that we haven't checked in on in a while. I did not think I was going to one-shot that. I'm actually happy because that saves a lot of time. Hello, Beetle, my good friend. Oh, he has something to go and say, actually. Oh, valued customer, you're back. What? I, I don't seem my, like my usual self. I can't hide anything from you, can I? Well, I can't talk about it right now because I'm busy pedaling. Why don't you just lie down on the bed over there and rest? We can talk tonight. Okay, will do. Will do. Nighttime, baby. Okay, it's been a while since we've really come to this island and hung out with him at night. See what he has going on. Oh. Ah, you mounted my bed and rode the sleep sheep through the fields of night once more. You were out like a log. I dare say you weigh as much as a log as well, and a rather large one at that. Pedaling around with you on board has quite invigorated me. It's quite alright though, old bug. I'm actually getting rather used to it. Um, you're getting me into cracking shape. But I'd be remiss if I didn't let you know the weight on my heart. My precious horned colossus beetle has gone missing along with his cage. It's a tragedy that shatters a man to his core. T'was such a rare insect and so friendly to boot. I mean, I'll go find it, buddy. Oh. Ah, truly. Um, I must thank you. I shan't forget this. My precious horned colossus beetle, please go and find him with all haste. He abides out there. Yeah, he abides out there somewhere all alone in the wild. I beg of you. Kid, anything oh. else to say? Please find my precious horned, horned colossus beetle. Will do. And I think I know exactly who might be able to help. Hey, Stritch, I have a favor to ask of you. Hey, as a friend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, well, it's Link. How's life? Oh, you think I look happy? Well, I guess I can't help it. I mean, I did discover a rare, insanely rare insect after all. Tell me. <laughs> I, 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 I want to know. You want to know more, huh? Well... Let's just say I managed to land a legendary horned colossus beetle. You stole it, didn't you? It's pretty much a miracle that I found it. I can't stop laughing or smiling. I'm so happy my face hurts. What? You're saying that this is Beetle's pet bug? The same beetle who flies around in that shack selling his junk? Yeah, poor beetle. Do you have any idea how much this bug is worth? With this bad boy in my collection, my credibility in, a, in the bug catching community will skyrocket. I'll be a bug catching celebrity. Don't. No! Get away from the clout. Get away from the clout. Leave it alone. I suppose it would be kind of mean to keep someone's favorite pet bug, though. But at the same time, I don't feel so bad that I'm just gonna give it right back. How about this? If you can pull off a time in my game that makes me even admit that you're the master of bug catching, I'll give this little guy back. 
So what's it gonna be? Are you up for the challenge? You're on. And because this is still a business, I'll be taking 10 rupees from you every time. Okay, fine. Okay then, go get 10 insects of my choosing. I'll be timing you. You've got to get 10 insects within three minutes. If somehow you do it, I'll give the Horn Colossus Fetal back. All right then, get set. Okay. Let's hope I can do this this time. Took a weird route last time and I still have managed to get it, so I'm not too worried about this time, but I, I could still mess up in places where I didn't before. <laughs> no, bug net. Got it, got the first one. Push this down. And no! Oh, well, you know what? The Horned Colossus Beetle was also down here. So we're all good. We're fine. Okay, we want to go in that. Get this. Man, I am just trying to speedrun my way right through this. And it's not really working out in my favor. I'm getting worse time this time. Definitely than last time. Holy crap. Okay. You wanna go down here? This way? And if I can go down this way? Sand Cicada, please? I scared the Sand Cicada earlier. No! Can at least get you? You were in the way, but I could at least get you. Let's go and keep going forward. Not gonna beat my best time, that's for damn sure. I have this sand cicada to get. Okay, there we go. And then... I have this ant to get. Got it. Um, I have another grasshopper to get. Which is... Down here, but... Didn't need to get that. Whoops. Grasshopper is in here. No, wait. Wrong, wrong bug, but it didn't really matter anyway. Okay. Where, where are these bugs? Why am I blinking right now? Oh my god. I, I remember where the mantis is, and I already screwed it up. Oh, come on. No, Link. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. No. This is horrible. Um, I'm gonna get it next time, but... I completely messed this up. Should've grabbed that grasshopper on my way up. Uh, my bad. My bad. My bad entirely. Can I just restart this? Let's go and get this. It should be up here. Right at these pods. What? Okay. I was very concerned there. Very concerned there. Oh no! Oh no! No! Ah! Oh. So close! So Ah! Uh. And the grasshopper got away. Damn it. Where's the grasshopper at? Where did it go? I'm, I'm very con- Concerned where it didn't go any what what? Oh there it is. There it is. Just trolling me. Come on. Yeah. 333. I can do better the next time. Ah, oh, I should have read that. <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> you come to take the corn colossus beetle back, huh? Yeah. It, but because it's still a business, I'll be taking 10 rupees from you. Well then, go get 10 insects of my choosing. I'll be timing you. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. I get it. I get it. I get your little challenge. And I put to your challenge that you're not gonna win. That's just how I am. I'm gonna go and grab that, because that is the first bug that I should grab. Let's get off to a better start this time. Give me that. I do personally like catching bugs in this version better. I'm gonna go and tell you that right now. 
The motion tracking is better for catching bugs. At least I feel. No! Oh, come on! It even locked onto the wrong bug. Oh, no. Let's go and catch that. Let's go and catch that. <laughs> and get our way up here. I need to get the um bug up here. Okay, I'm just gonna go back around and deal with it that way. I'm gonna go and head all the way up. And that's where our other dung beetle is. Give me that. And if I can sneak up on this one, so I actually need to sneak up on this one in order to get it. There we go. Thank you very much. Go around here. There's a little ant here. Don't step on it. Okay. Gather that one. And now I can go and head down. Ow! Damn these bees. Leave me alone. <laughs> Link! No! Come on, you lost me so much time there. He, he refused. He refused. He was like, I'm done. Oh, I'm at the I'm at the last grasshopper again. Okay, that should be pretty easy to get though. And realize that he was my last one. Hello, buddy. Are you back? Yeah. Beat our time, actually. Nice. Okay, you're done. <laughs> Who would have thought? It'd be so easy for you to break um the record time and your own record time also. Okay, okay. As I promised, here's the Horn Colossus Beetle back. I have to admit, you're a pretty tough competitor. I guess I won't be able to bug you anymore. <laughs> you got Beetle's Insect Cage. It contains Beetle's in beloved insect pal. Hurry back to Beetle with it. Honestly, two attempts? Better than what I thought it was going to be. I'm happy about that. Make sure you tell Beetle that Bug lover to bug lover. I feel sort of bad for causing him so much stress. Yeah, you should. You literally stole his pet. It isn't even just a collectible to him. It's it's a pet. Let's go. Let's go to Beetle. Tell him the good news. Okay. Hi, Beetle. Oh, welcome. What? You found something? If I try to talk about it now, we might crash. Why Why don't we talk about it later this evening? You can rest on that bed over there until it's night. Okay. Will do. Until night. Boy, do I have something for you, Beetle. This this is this is a thing that you've wanted. Or well that you already had as a pet. Yes, can I help you? Uh pray you have something to show me. Oh, you really did find my precious horned colossus beetle. You found him, my dear bug. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Next time you enter my shop, I demand you take one of my items for half off the listed price. Thank you! It's it's just my way of saying thank you. I'm horrible at that. I used to be good at that as a child. Well, we got five gratitude crystals for our troubles, and we got Beetle to sell us something for half price. So, I think you know where this is going to go. Okay, Beetle. Oh. oh, you're the wonderful boy who found my horned colossus beetle. To thank you, I can... No, you can choose any single item here, and I will set it to um, sell it to you at half the price. Okay. One item? Half price? I'll take it. Oh. oh, you have great taste in things. Isn't it shiny? I found it someplace nearby. To be honest, I have no idea what it's for, but I'm pricing it at um, 1,600 rupees. However, you can have it at half price today for only 800 rupees. 
Is it a deal? Yeah, I'll take it. I mean, why not? You have the piece of heart. And this isn't just any piece of heart. This is a piece of heart 23 out of 24. We're almost there, baby. Thank you! Oh, thank you ever so much. You've given me the strength to keep pedaling. Okay. Um, what if I just check this out also? I mean, I may as well get this here. That right there is the bug metal. Um, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. It's gone to the item check. Pietro's gonna have it. Oh, it really suits you. Um. Let's go and see, buddy. I just wanna go and talk to you again. I just wanted to go and head out for a second first. But. Oh! Oh, hello! I'm so glad to. <laughs> I'm so um, glad to see you back in Beetle's Air Shop. Let me know if you're interested in any of my items. I cannot read. Okay. Oh. oh, unfortunately, that sign means that the item is sold out. Thanks to you, I've done a lot more business than usual, so I'm having trouble keeping the store stocked. Yeah, this is the last time we can ever buy anything from Beetle. Goodbye, Beetle. See you in our next life. Heading down to our favorite little demon, Batro. Let's let's see what he has in store for us. Cause I'm pretty sure he wanted 80. Oh my, you've gathered 80 gratitude crystals. If I'm not mistaken, that's all the gratitude crystals in the whole wonderful world. Thank you. Thank you ever so much. Please accept this final gift with all of my gratitude. The Tycoon Wallet. Hell yeah. You got the Tycoon Wallet. No wallet can match this can um, cavernous capacity and luxurious quality of this one. It can store a jaw-dropping 900... No, 9,000 rupees. I read that completely wrong. So assuming you got all the wallet upgrades from Beetle, which you probably should have at this point, 9,900 rupees. It's so not 99999 like some other Zelda games, but I'll take it. This is an embarrassingly small token of my gratitude, but I hope it will be useful to you. Oh dear, with this, I now have all the gratitude crystals I require to become human. I wonder if I'll really be able to make a transformation. My heart is a flutter. Ah! <laughs> yeah. <gasps> well, how do I look, my dear uh, friend Link? Oh, you needn't even say it. I can tell from the um, look of sheer astonishment on your face. Chancellor Cole! Don't don't worry about him. Don't worry about what I just said. My appearance has changed so dramatically. Um, you've been struck speechless, haven't you? Allow me to tell you that um this. There's simply no word in your language to describe how grateful I am for your help. I'm deeply touched. From now on, I plan to live happily with everyone else, not as a monster, but as any other person. Anything else to say, buddy? Well, were you surprised? I bet for a moment there you could not recognize who was standing before you. It's quite understandable, really. Everything is so new and different. I don't even feel like myself. Okay. Let's go and see what changed now that Batro is, uh, human. Okay, first thing that changes is a night on Skyloft. If you were to help Batro become human. You see that there are no monsters in Skyloft anymore. And the Remlets are cute all around. Little cute um, creatures. Some villagers will be out on Skyloft at night. So there are changes that way. I don't really want to show where everybody is. But Batro is also here at night. Good evening, Link. I thought I'd take a refreshing stroll around town. And to my surprise, there's not a monster to be seen. I don't suppose their disappearance has something to do with me becoming human, do you? Could be. Goodness, I suppose you are right. There's no denying that when I was a demon, 
I must have radiated a fiendish power into my surroundings. Now that I'm human, it seems that most unpleasant aura has completely faded from this place, like an odious aro aroma in the wind. And goodness me, I couldn't be more elated. Now everyone can finally live in peace, and that's all thanks to you. Thanks, Batro. I'm gonna go and see where he is in the morning, because he changes his place in the morning as well. I do not want to sleep in there. That is not all, for as if we sleep in the bed, and go to morning, and head to the bazaar, we see that Batro is just hanging out among the people. How's it going, man? Oh, good day, Link. I simply can't thank you enough for all your help. I'm overjoyed. For so long, I wondered what it would be like to casually stroll through the bazaar. And here I am. And look around. The best part is nobody is screaming in horror. Yep. It, it feels nice to live your life. I'm happy for you, Betro. But with this, the sword on her here, I'm signing out. See you guys in the next one. We fully helped out people of Skyloft, and now all we have to do is keep our promise to Zelda. Mm -hmm.